Hey guys, from here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a day of the week calculator using the Zeller algorithm. So, day of the week. So basically, how this will work is it will and require a date, as in date, month, and year that it will calculate a day. So day of the week you calculate the day of the week that's a date corresponds to final static string is greater days so this will have all the days of the week Saturday Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, well today it's Saturday but it's probably, but it's Tuesday by the time you see this because I'm scheduled it, Thursday and Friday, public static void main string args uh, scanner input equals new scanner system dot in import that sys out and control and space enter the date in date month year format string date equals Input dot next line dot split Okay, so then we'll go int day equals integer dot pass int dates zero. So it starts off with zero. So that's the date integer dot pass in dates once so that's the months and this is the years integer dot pass int okay so if month is less than three and plus equals 12 y minus so basically subtract 1 from y k equals y much like 100 k equals y divided by 100 and get the day plus n plus 1 times 26 divided by 10 plus k plus k divided by 4 plus j divided by 4 plus j 5 times j sorry Seven. Okay. Why did I put Q? Especially D for D. Okay. So that's just basically the algorithm to calculate it. And go system out. That date was A plus days of the week. Actually, no, just days. Okay, so let's test it out. So let's put my let's put ah oh yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Let's put nineteen eighty. Date was a Thursday. Okay, so let's just loop back. Okay, so um. 
And let's just go to the year 1900, January. First was March. It was Monday, sorry. Can't talk today. Yeah, so the first was Monday. So, first, the first, 1900. It was a Monday. As you can see, that works. But you need to remember to do like this. So, that day will be a Thursday. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. You want to go input dot close just to avoid memory leaks. So yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.